Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a panda. We're going to take two fingers in the center and put me a dot. And from that dot going to the left, we're going to draw a slightly wavy, 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 wavy line down. Go back to the dot. We're going to draw another wavy, 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 wavy line down on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, over, connect on the left. I'm going to come back and draw a wavy, wavy line up, over, connect on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to continue my wavy, wavy line. Keep going. Bring it up and connect. Now I come about midpoint on the left and I draw a wavy line down off the page. I come on the right, draw a wavy, wavy line down off the page. In the center I put a dot and I draw a wavy, wavy line out off the page. Go back to the dot. Wavy, wavy line out off the page. I come inside and I draw one baby circle, two baby circles. Now because this is a panda, I want some of the eye to show. So I come up and I draw a little curve line connect on the left and a little curve line connect on the right. I come back to the left and now I'm going to draw my patch. So I draw a wavy, wavy line out, over, up, connect on the left, and a wavy line out, over, connect on the right. I come right here in the center and I draw a curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a little curve line, curve line connect straight line in the center and a slightly wavy wavy line out and up on the left come back to the center out and up on the right and now we're ready to color okay because this is a panda and he's only black and white you want him to look furry so you're going to use your crayon to fill in the big spart parts, black. This will be black. His shoulders are black. His little nose is black. And the patch around his eye is going to be black. But I'm going to use a skinnier black crayon and show you the eye. You're going to color this section black and leave that little sliver white because it's going to make a difference when we end up looking at the panda all colored in. When you're using black and white you have to be really conscious of what is white and what is black. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Here's my panda all colored in. As you can see those little white crescent shapes are very important so that you can delineate and see what his eye really looks like. You can cut him out, put him on a piece of green paper like bamboo, and he's ready to go. Okay, bye-bye.